Dunno, tiny young brutes, east side of London, green gang in the day. This is Tiny, who is from Green Gang in Plaster. One of the most recognized faces at the time. Got beef cause we got a hard team. And we're all about the fast P. Move the white, move the B, move the Charlie. P L A I S T O W C Bear Green Bandanas and we're coming through. And we don't care about them. He ended up being stabbed. And after that disappeared. People been wondering what happened to Tiny this Saturday at 1 p.m. Hear it straight from the horse's mouth. He'll be talking about his past, the role models he never had, and how he's managed to transition and change his life around for the better. It's not easy to change your life around. Many don't make it out. What's going on, bro? What's happening, man? How are afternoon, you, bro? afternoon, you good? Yeah, I'm good. How are you, bro? Not too bad, tired, a bit of a late night. And just trying to catch up on admin, got hella admin to do. But it is what it is, man. Um, as, as the weather where you're at today? Yeah, it's not too bad. So the last night it was a mad thing, but right yeah. now it's all right, isn't it? Uh, cool. I mean, let's, let's not, let, let me do a bit of an introduction. I myself must admit wasn't too familiar with yourself because I think at the time also I was in jail and I was back and forth in Cannon Town, but I'm a little bit older than you, so I wouldn't. Um, Knowing your generation, the part the person from Plasto I knew at the time was um, Zoro, um, but obviously you guys are the ones who sort of come up after him and so on and sort of went on with the whole green flag green flag thing. But let's start from the um, start really. So, um, Tai, um, so where are you from? Where's your parents? Your parents' background and what areas you brought up and so on. Alright, cool. So I'll answer that, yeah. First of all, I just want to say as well, I appreciate you even having me on this platform, first of all, yeah. I really appreciate it. I watch your things all the time, you get what I'm saying to you? And also appreciate I that. know who your brother is, Medi and that. Also I wanna big up Medi. And this is what I've been thinking. I see his comment. You see new on street blogs and that, they've been pushing this thing a lot, innit? And I've got mixed emotions about new street blogs' page in a whole, but I suppose if they're saying they're trying to push something positive, I can only go by what they say, yeah? So mm. anyway, these times now, yeah, I saw a comment and someone wrote like, oh, it'll be interesting to see, innit, from your basically brother and nephews from that side and from mm. this side, innit? Mm. And I saw Don E, he mentioned on it, he said, um, growth, like, um, I don't know, we move on or something like that, yeah? So mm. imagine now, yeah, we have to show, I've gone through mental health issues, yeah. I've seen him talk about mental health issues, things like that, yeah. We're big, like, figures. Let's be honest, yeah. He's a very big figure in that community. I was mm. a very big figure in my community, innit, yeah. I don't, you see things that's going on, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care. All I want, yeah, is to put a platform. I was thinking about it yesterday. Do you watch Versus? Yeah. Okay, so one thing. I, you know, the last few nights, I came across Don E's lives, yeah. Mm. And he's been doing live thing, and he's had this. What's his name? What's the guy? Do you watch it? I watch it. Yeah, whenever I can tune in, of course, I'll watch it. What's the guy's name? He's got. Uh, is it H or something like that? He's got a funny guy with him. I'm not even. Uh, PK yeah, Humble. Does the live thing? Huh? Uh, PK Humble. No, uh, I've seen a few things, but he's gone on a live. So recently, the last few days, anyway. He's mm. been doing it. So I've seen the verses last night. I thought of an idea. Mm. Why don't we do, yeah, just to show, one time on the live, a uh, versus, yeah, of the south side of, that's what they call it now, so south side Newham, in my end, it wasn't called that all at that time, yeah, mm. and north side Newham, showcase the music, yeah, because I think personally, yeah, we'll get into all of that, I know everyone wants to hear that, but I want to actually get deep in this one and show you my pain, show you my actual story, isn't it? because mm. it's a deeper message, this is for, not for anyone who wants to know, ah, uh, all the fans and all that. The fans, they can hear it. And if they appreciate what I've done and how much changed, then they'll appreciate it. And if not, I don't care. This is for the kids. This is for parents who may be not aware of things that are going on in these streets. And you know what I'm saying to you? Mm. So anyway, if he wants to do that, I'm sending him a challenge for verses on the live. We do, I don't know how many tunes he wants to do. So the artist from his thing, he plays songs. I play songs. They don't have to be disrespectful songs. Do you know what I'm saying too? And even if there is any songs played, I wouldn't take none. I know there's been diss tracks for me, you get me, to to me, 
from them, mm. man, over there. You get me? I wouldn't mm. even take... You see, the way I am at my life now, it's about growth. So if we and me and him could be on the live together as two people from them areas, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of things have gone on, bro. It's a very serious thing. You know what I'm saying? It's not a joke. Mm. We can show that that shows the growth, innit? And me... I hear that. Them, and, and I, I think that, yeah. could, that, that, that could run. I guess the only issue really will be after you be careful in terms of what songs are played because things might be triggering or someone might say something about someone's dead ops. Definitely. Or... But do you know what it is? Do you know what it is, yeah? We have to also realise the reality that we're in right at this moment, isn't it? So definitely mm. that dead up things, I, we don't have to play that. But you see these kids where they are, we have to show, say we've done an hour of that and show just all the songs. Forget, yeah, us, that this is real for a second now. For this verses, this is an artist, this is music, yeah? Because music is an art, mm. yeah? Some people are not real who do music. Let's mm. have that facts, yeah? There's a lot of people in, in the ends, and everyone knows this from each. I'm not going to say names in it or nothing like that today. But they know, innit, that they're not really about this thing. Everyone knows this thing, innit? But at the same yeah. time, yeah, they're popping, they pop, bro. So at the same time, yeah, it's about not being... There's talent. That's what I'm trying to show. There's talent. So if we can display Newham's talent, bro, in one thing, and just as I said, have that man-to-man -man thing just we're on this live... Pride aside, because I've never actually had personal. I don't think we have. Me and Mehdi had one issue, and it was not personal. We've never seen each other physically. When I did see him, I was a fan of his football, bro. That's the truth. And you know what I'm saying? People probably don't even know yeah. this. So, anyway, I just think something like that 24 hours, I'm saying, and anyway, I'm sending, I know he does the lives. I'm sending him a request. Don't need this is to you. 24 hours, bro. We don't have to, even if we decide we don't play the new. Like songs, we could play old school songs. Artists, there's artists from over them sides. Don't he's a big artist, bro. You know what I'm saying to you? There's mm. other artists over there that have songs that's not about cussing. No one said ops. In my end, there was artists that you know what I'm saying to you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't. I don't. To be fair, I don't see anything wrong with that. But you never know what people might people's thoughts are about it. You know what? You know me. I don't open. care. I'm just trying to do something free. Cause you see, in 24 hours, I'm coming off yeah. this thing. This live is not for mm. me to promote no new music. This is not mm. for me to all oh, tiny's back. 2021's not my year. It's going to be my year, but out of the scene, I don't like this. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, even mm. doing this, that's what I said, it's growth, innit? But mm. boom, let's get into it, my bro. All right, cool, man. So let's start. So um, where are you from? Where, where was you, where's your parents from? And where, where was you born? Cool. So I was born in General Hospital. Okay. Fucking, I lived in First Gate. My family was from First Gate. My, my mum and dad are born here, innit? But. My mum's family is Indian and that. They're Indian. And my dad is black. So he's half Dominique and half St. Nation. He's okay. originally from West London. You get what I'm saying to you? Okay. So obviously he came over here when he was about, I don't know, 11, 12, whatever and that, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I was from Gate. Um, he, Did you have any siblings? I had a half brother and a half sister. And, well, I have, should I say, a half yeah. brother and a half sister. I don't really... My brother, the relationship was very on and off, but not even very, like, I might see him once in a couple of years. You know what I'm saying to you in that? Mm. But you see, when we get through it, yeah, we'll see that I, I kind of, I used to hate him for it. Like, it's a strong word, but I actually did because, you see, everyone wants that big brother. You see, mm. when you grow up, when we show, we'll get through it. Everyone's, a lot of people have that big brother. A lot of the, the big people as well, like, the known mm. people, the... People that everyone wants to be, kind of thing. They had a big brother in it, and you always hear yeah. stories about big brother. This and that. you can't really touch this guy because of his brother. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. To you? I know these mm. kind of things. So I never really um, had love, but I didn't realize the things that he went through way before. So yeah. you see, every I've been through, he's been through some mad shit. Do you get what I'm saying? To you? And that. Mm. So it's only when you get older you realize these things, isn't it? So yeah, I got him, and then I got a sister as well, and it. She does okay. quite well for herself. She's a dancer and that's what she taught like in the lion king thing she's proper good at what she does you know what i'm saying so okay so did you live in a household with both your parents well what happened is yeah basically there was always kind of on and off to my existence but at when i was young i didn't see it like that and it just like my dad just used to duck out sometimes you get what i'm saying to you so mm. he's always had his flat in stratford in it so they split up when i was maybe about um, let's say a seven, eight, let's just say, yeah, boom. Yeah. So he's moved to Stratford, but you see the way it's portrayed. Because let's be honest, yeah, you see my dad, this is why I say, me and I spoke to you, I said, I don't really have 
I never had that role model because see my dad, he wasn't yeah. bad to me. Yeah, he was a he was like an older to me. Like I swear to God, he was like but the bad older. You know what I'm saying to like mm. he showed me love and he had love for me, but like well that's what I thought. But like he didn't show me the right way at all, and he showed me everything wrong. And he, you see me, I, there was a phrase I looked like monkey see, monkey do kind of thing. He always just say to me, "Don't do, just listen to what I tell you, and don't do what I say." Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. But at the same time, he'll contradict himself in it. And being mm. a kid. It was very hard to, like, do you get what I'm saying to you? All you want to do is impress your dad because, like, I'm a daddy's boy. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Like, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Like, just grow up. My dad used to show me love, take me football all the time. So that's what I grew up with. You get what I'm saying mm -hmm. to you? So um, would you say then your dad was, like, a, on, on, on the roads then? He was, like, you know what it is, yeah? My dad, I'll be honest with you. I used to think my dad was a bad man. Mm. Bad man. My dad's, like, an alcoholic. Bro. Like, my dad mm. is... One of them old school, man. He's on the roads, mm. not a road, man. Do you get what I'm saying to you? He's yeah. on the roads, is walking around. He lives in Newham, so he don't really go. You just see him all the time, that dread rusty man. You mm. get what I'm saying to you? Bopping down the road, hob hobbling around because he's got a bad knee. Like, everyone just knew my dad's face. You get what I'm saying to you? He was, but he mm. was not a bad man. You get what I'm saying to you? He done his little thing here and there, obviously. He's on the roads, get me, but... Yeah. Mm. Just quickly, I turn off the comments because it's very people just waffling in the comments. I'm not even reading them to be honest. Yeah. Because I so, um, so what what primary school did you go to at the time? Um, I went to Cairnhill Primary School. Yeah. And that well, was how was you act on? And I was from First Gate. Yeah, but I didn't know about. Ah, uh, cool. We'll get into that because that, that's in Tom Hood. But yeah, I went Cairnhill. So that was all right. Yeah. That was quite fun to be honest. And then, uh, how was you in terms of ambition at the time? What did you want to be when you was like young? Footballer. That's all Footballer. I ever really wanted to be at that time, yeah. And music started coming in, yeah. I'll tell you what, because So Solid and all these kind of people used to come on my telly, MTV bass and that. Americans mm. that and all that, I listen to it. But you see the So Solid and all that when I started getting mm. six, uh, that started like popping. You get what I'm saying to you? So mm. I used to love that, didn't it? And I remember we done a talent show, yeah. And there was the jar rule. I can't remember. I've never done something like this. And I performed in a talent show, yeah. Mm. The teachers couldn't believe that like, I was moving lit. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. The so then there was one bit that I forgot the lyrics, yeah? And I kind of stopped and I just done it, bro, yeah? And it was so lit. All the kids were guys. Even the teachers said to my mum and that, like, bro, he's that a little performer. Like, he had the whole class and everyone happy. And like, you get me? So cool. These times, I wanted to do music a bit from them ages, but football was my thing. I was sick at football. I was like the best in my school, best in my year. Which, which, which uh, I was going to ask that, was you any good? Yeah, I was, I was levels, wasn't it? Like, when, yeah. I, when we took levels, I was levels, wasn't it? For my age group, for amateur, for my area, like, I was a guy, wasn't it? Like, so we'll get into that a bit later when we talk about it. What, 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 what position did you play? I was, you know what it is, I'm versatile, I can do a job everywhere, and, and you know mm. what, that is what hindered me, yeah, mm. because you see, playing for clubs and that playing, you, they need a guy, I'm like a James Milner, do you get what I'm saying to you and that, so I, I'm a centre mid player, that's me and Matt, that's what I like the most, too. Yeah. but I used to play centre back a lot, right back, because of my football IQ of such a young age, that's what had me levels ahead of a lot of people, yeah. Right? I wasn't like Cristiano Ronaldo or Zaha, you know what I'm saying to you? I was more of a Thiago Silva, do you get what I'm saying to you? Make things happen. I was mm. them kind of players. I was also a Brack man. Like, I had no fear them days. Like, I had to go because my dad used to drill things into me. Like, you get what I'm saying to you? So, yeah, bro, I was just, I was a baller. I went uh, secondary school. Where did you end up going? So, I went to Tom Hood, and that is basically right around the corner from Cairn Hall, yeah? So, Basically, that's in Leytonstone, and I live in Forest Gate, isn't it? But like, mm. there's only one road separating where I live and Leytonstone and my school and that. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Okay. It's like a, throw, a stone's throw. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. So them times now, obviously, like I said, I don't have no older brother guidance. I don't have my that like, my dad don't know about these things now. You get what I'm saying to you? So. I would, there's a lot of speculation what school to go to, innit? And I didn't get in. My mom went to St. Bonds. My mom was yeah. like, please, you go to St. Bonds, St. Bonds. They didn't accept me and that, like, you get me? I didn't do my mm. communion and all that stuff. They didn't accept me. So, cool. I ended up going to Tom Hood. That was where I first saw everything, that badness, like. That mm. was a mad school and that. So, 
in like my first couple of months of being there, one boy got bored up in his face in the fucking canteen. Like, excuse me for swearing. In the canteen. So these things like that, you're seeing, whoa. Man mm. don't know about all these boring things and that. Man know about fighting, because in primary school, I was fighting. Like, I was yeah. fighting. A lot. Do you get what I'm saying, too? Like, mm. one on one, but literally, I'd fight anyone, but it would be, it would be fun, bro. Do you get what I'm saying, too? Yeah. After that, this is when I saw, whoa, things are about to change. Do you get what I'm saying, too? And things like that started happening. Then I started learning about, like, the beef that Forest Gate and Leighton Stone had, didn't it? But yeah. then you see in my little, my little year seven, seven set, there was someone from, um, and he just came out of prison, you know, for a murder, you know? Like wow. he was from Cattle, you get what I'm saying too, yeah? Mm. But I was from Forest Gate. There was another one from Maryland and there was a um, fucking, another one from Manor Park, you get what I'm saying too? Yeah. But at that time, as I said, like, our little lot, I don't even think, like, we didn't care about it. You get, we're not involved. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing. Mm. But then you start seeing the olders and that now. And the olders, they just used to, like, they used to, like, kind of look after me. I can't lie to you. They were, like, don't look after me. So when the things used to happen, I'll be, like, I always wanted to be, like, no, what's going on with these? Like, what's happening? And mm. I remember certain times, man, would come to the school. And these, like, were, like, no, just, like, will walk me back to the end. And they'll say, go home. You get me that? And they'll say, go mm. home. And then i have to leave. I didn't even want to leave them days. You get me? I just wanted to, like because I had love for them. Anyone that showed me love at them times, I had love for them, innit? Because a lot of the time, as a kid, I was always by myself, innit? I was always by mm. myself. I was always by myself. As a lonely sibling in my household, I was mm. always by myself, innit? And my mum, she done the greatness that she could, innit? But she was just a mum. She couldn't really raise a son like that. Do you get what I'm saying? She done mm. what she could, innit? And my dad never gave me that knowledge. He gave me little bits and bobs, but he didn't give me the good knowledge at all. Be a good role model to me. You get what I'm saying? So you felt that you kind of, with that made you grav gravitate towards the older guys in the local area? Yeah, definitely. But do you know what it is? I still was around my dad because he used to show me like, don't go here, don't do this. Do you get what I'm saying too? So I was mm. around him, yeah. And then he just used to show me football, focus on your football. Everyone used to tell me that like, you're sick at football, isn't it? So mm. as much as I was sick at football, I'll be honest, I thought I should have gone like to an academy team or something like that at a, um, an early age, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Because levels ahead, and I feel like I didn't develop the way I should have. Yeah, even though I still was a bad boy for like, my whole football career till the age of about 15, and I gave up. Do you get what I'm saying to you? But mm. yeah, man, I feel like. Why do you think that it happened? Then you just weren't spotted. You weren't at the right clubs. Yeah, I was. So what happened is, yeah, we'll talk about my school life. I think, yeah, honestly. I need to go in depth about these things because this is the most important things what like made me the person who I became and all these things, mm. yeah? I was at school and when I went to Tom Hood, I was a, like, basically, I saw all that stuff. Like, I just said, you know what? I can't be this guy. I saw people getting victimised a bit. Do you get what I'm saying too? And that mm. a couple of times I've got slapped up. You get me in that facts here? Yeah? So I said, fuck this. Do you get what I'm saying too? Like, and I turned into the rebel, innit? Like, I was just the class clown. I was, like, the bad boy. Like, I was just everything. Do you get what I'm saying? I could do and that. Anyway, so I got kicked out the beginning of... No, at the end of year seven, they sent me to, a, you know, a unit. Like, PRU, yeah. they call it. Yeah. So they sent me there, yeah? And I remember the first time I ever went there, bro, yeah? And there's a boy, shout out Marley, yeah? That's my people, you get me? And, and I, I got real time for him because he's a proper good guy, yeah? And... I remember the first time, you hear bad things about this place. You feel like, oh, that's where all the Gs go. You get me? That's where the mad yeah. go. So I went to this place, and I was just thinking, what to expect? And it was so small. You see, compared to my school, like, when I first even got there, and I just remember going into the gym, and I see Marley. And I didn't know no one these times. And he's just kicking a basketball around, and the gym's bare and small, the little hole and that, and there's a mm. basketball just fucking flying around. And I thought, what the fuck have I come to? Do you get what I'm saying to you? So cool, that was a transition for me as well, wasn't it? Then the beginning of year eight, I only went there a few days, like two days a week. And then year yeah. eight, I went there fucking, in year eight, I went there full time, bro. I got kicked out of school, yeah, like in Tom Wood, I just on badness, got kicked out and I went there. So that is where I started seeing badness, isn't it? Like Belmont mm. Park, because that was in Leighton now, the one I go to. That's right next yeah. to Beaumont, it's like Beaumont Estate. And you got to remember, like, Wolverine Forest, them ends is frying as well. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. So I was very much from Newham all the way to fucking uh, Newham Street Blogs. You need to just allow me for a sec. Sorry, but yeah, so I was from 
Newham to Wolven Forest. You get what I'm saying to you? Back and forth, yeah. back and forward. You get what I'm saying to you? Yeah, so... So what what's the sort of things that you were seeing that made you go towards that um, lifestyle? Was you smoking weed at first, people carrying knives, and someone said, hold a knife. What was the first sort of badness you was getting involved in? So I'll be honest, I was smoking weed from, like, fair young, bro. Like, I used to still, like, my dad would go in the kitchen, because my dad smoked weed for me from, I can never remember, and it just in front yeah. of my face, smoking weed all the time, innit? So he would go in the kitchen sometimes, and I would try to draw the zoo. I don't even, you know what I'm saying to you? Like, mm. oh, shit, I remember that, innit? So... I started smoking even probably about year sevens and that. That's when I probably first started smoking. It. And um, yeah. what? Sorry, what was your question? Yeah, so basically, what yeah, what see? was the oh, yeah, what badness? did I see there? So there, when I saw there though, it was like you have to learn how to fight, innit? Because here now it's got a reputation that some bad boys here. Do you get what I'm saying to you? And that. Yeah. So that's for example where I see my first, I see the first whack bro. You get what I'm saying to you? At school, mm. someone who was my age had a whack with them parked off next to van school. You get what I'm saying to you? Mm. Like, that's where I see, man, punch up black like, couple, man, on his one. I see, yeah, I see some crazy shit go down in that one. Mm. You get what I'm saying to you? I see a girl get nicked for hitting a fucking a teacher with a pool ball, fam. You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying to you, fam? Like, I see some crazy... You get what I'm saying to you? So these times, I was always into badness, but this was like, whoa, I've got a bit. You get what I'm saying to you? So then I just started being bad and doing bad shit there as well. You get me? And that's the first time I ever got arrested outside yeah. that school. I've done a, um, a street robbery. So I, 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 how long was you in, in, in the unit for? I was there from year eight to year 10. Year eight to year 10? Yeah. Okay. And then in year seven, yeah, I forgot, to, I forgot to mention this as well. In year seven, before, when I was even in my badness in Tom Hood, yeah, Mm. I fucking was banging ball with the district in that year. And at that time, there was, like, Harry Kane was playing for them. Do you get what I'm saying to you? But these okay, ones like, yeah. went high in Park in that year. Mm. So these lot was flipping, like, there was ballers. But you see me, I was, like, that rough boy. Like, you see up there, you're all posh that you're nasty. Your mum and dad's in that coming in nice ranges. You get what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Yeah, over here, we're, like, the, the gutty little kids. You get what I'm saying to you? Mm. There was... Um, his name's Lai Ki, they call him now. He's um, Nico Yanaris. He's now a Chinese international. Do you get what I'm saying, too? Okay. He's played with us now. Um, you had TK Mad Max. He's a rapper. I'm not sure if you heard of him. Yeah, yeah. I was in jail with him still, yeah. Yeah, is it? So TK Mad Max, he was our striker. You get what I'm saying? I used to play for Interwood them times. You get what I'm saying, too? Okay. You had um, Colin, Colin Kazim's Richard. He's a little brother, Remy. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So we had the little football setup. So anyway, I've gone to this Belmont, Belmont. I'm in year 10. Now it's come to the decision. All my, like, the school's gone dead now. All my friends have left. Like, you get what I'm saying to you? I always just gravitated to all the people in it. So all my friends have left. Now I'm at the point where I need to get out of here because like, you can't even do, I think you can just do the basic GCSE. This guy was dead there. Do you get what I'm saying to mm. you? I was, I was actually trying to get an education. And I knew, all right, playtime needs to be over. Like, what am I going to do in my life? Isn't it? So cool. I was at that crossroads of football, education, music, because music was popping at the same time as well. Yeah. So I kept saying to my school, I want to go to a mainstream school. I need to get a proper education, yeah? They was like, listen, we're going to do that for you, yeah? If you be good for a certain amount of period, yeah? Because you got to remember, you see at Belmont even, there was a time, I came to school, I had a match in there with some boy, and he just punched me in my face one time. Yeah. My fight, didn't you get me? We had a fight, boom, in the gym. And then, I'm not going to say why I came with and all that, but I came to the school with tools, like the next couple of days I was coming to the things with tools and someone snitched, you get me? Mm. And one of my teachers, he fucking, he come to me and he said, oh, can you come in here? And I had these tools on me, fam, two tools. And I'll be honest with you, fam, I'm going to prison that. If you get what I'm saying to you, if you yeah. under authority, you get me? And he said, have you got anything that you shouldn't have? And I said, yeah, man, I'll just show them, get me? And I, cause you see at that time, yeah, these lot was like at Belmont Park, I'm not going to lie to you, I, there was, a few teachers, teacher assistants, and like there was a guy called Patrick Campbell, and he is like someone who was like a, a uncle, father figure, kind of to me in that school, literally. Like, yeah. So we used to, they used to take me so many places, like we used to go on little like trips here and there and do football tournaments at Leighton Orient and all that. And mm. every tournament we went to, yeah, as a PRU that I played in, we won, didn't it? So he was telling me at that time, now in year 10, I can put you to a mainstream school, but I'm trying to get you to play for England 
SEN from national team. Yeah, that's yeah. special educational needs, isn't it? Mm. But he said, if you go into a mainstream school, they're not going to able you to do this and that. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? To you? So I was thinking um, at the time I was thinking football ain't working for me anyway because I've been around Arsenal, I've been around all these places, yeah. And this is a gem that a lot of people don't know, isn't it? Like, so at a one stage of my childhood, yeah, my mum was dating J. Emmanuel Thomas's father, isn't it? Okay. He's a footballer that was the latest footballer in the ends. He's like Medi levels, Medi. Then you got Ishmael De Montan, like he was someone who was like a bigger brother to me at one stage. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so I had these people around me, yeah, and I'm just looking at them studying them like, wow, these are sick. I used to go Hey Lend and watch training all the time. Their team, <laughs> Jay Emmanuel, um, you had Sanchez, Watt, Frimpong. There was a guy Reese at up front. You get what I'm saying? To they was cold with it. They was like, you know, the Arsenal that you. You see Thierry Henry and all that. Yeah. And I actually got to one time, I met Thierry Henry and that, and I fucking interviewed him and all that, and I interviewed him and Vieira for AFTV. Mm. So that was a fun memory, isn't it? But I'm um, sorry. Yeah. So I was watching all these people, and my mum was going out with his dad, and then my dad was going out, was seeing John Terry's mum. Imagine that. So I'm a Fuck kid here. Imagine this, bro. I'm a mm. kid want to be a footballer the football i'm sick everyone tells me i'm sick and these things was happening i'm skipping back wait hang on so wait your, your dad's black though right yeah he's black and, and she's raised yeah, guy that with john terry <laughs> joe make a quick joe is that why john terry bloody called actually called that then and maybe thinking oh yeah my mom was seeing a black fella <laughs> you don't mind me putting the comments back on yeah <laughs> but i'm not even reading them anyways so. yeah don't really read them but yeah that, that could that could be the case john terry got mad he's like raw my mum was get anyway. That's for another day. That's for another nah, day. To be honest, I think you should turn off the comments. Cause I don't want that. I don't want that to. Be you see, if you put this on YouTube, like, you're gonna be able to see the comments all that. Nah, you can't see the comments now. Ah, right, cool. Yeah, fuck them anyway. So yeah. cool. Imagine this now anyway. Yeah, but this is when I was younger. So I'm just actually just giving you gems of my life, innit? Not at all. We'll get back mm. to what that stage, innit? So anyway, imagine that being a youth man, yeah, and I'm literally rolling around in a nice mini Cooper and that like, going to these posh ends and that. Do you get what I'm saying to mm. you? Yeah. I'm thinking, bro, like, I'm telling my dad, Mario, do you get what I'm saying to you? Like, I'm telling mm. me, John Terry's little step, bro. But obviously, I don't know the politics of life. Do you get what I'm saying to <laughs> Serious. So imagine, imagine just a Harry Maguire of today, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. Like, that's how it is, isn't it? So anyway, cut a long story short now, nah, bro. Man's fucking... Wait, but seriously, you're basically John Terry's step, brother. No, because they wasn't married or nothing like that. <laughs> nah, joking. I'm fucking, I'm fucking, I'm fucking. <laughs> but I'm being deadly serious because I'm like, I'm not, I'm not here to cap. I'm not here mm. to get what I'm saying to. But I'm telling people gems, isn't it? So think about it as a kid, mm. you watch these people a match of the day, and then I'm not around them, but I've got signed shirts from him. I'm around his mum, like I'm doing like phone calls and that. Do you get what I'm saying to? And that. Mm. so I'm thinking, hold on a minute, this football thing can be real. Like this thing's happening. Ishmael mm. has made it. Like Ishmael was at Charlton and that like, doing his thing, like six mm. left foot. My bro, Leslie Thompson, he was at Arsenal, at Bolton. So I had these inspirations. But then, anyway, I was at year 10. We'll go back to that. So I just have to get that in, you know. Because no, no, no. Put that in, man. We're trying to get the whole... We, we want everything. everything. Yeah, so cool. We're back to year 10 now, anyway. I decided, let's go to a proper school, innit? So round the corner from there was George Mitchell and that. Yeah. So this school was dead. You get me? But I didn't know this, did it? So... Anyway, I've gone there. There, you don't even need a proper uniform. You see the black jumper and black trainers, isn't it? So I used to have my name on the back. There was a shop in East Ham called Gapod, isn't it? And you used to yeah. put your name on the things like that. So I used to have my name on the back. You get what I'm saying to you? And I think it was Ren or Stimpy, one of them. That was my I, I thought I thought that was a trend that was only in, 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 in South, in Lewisham and Ghetto. Oh, and Peckham, Peckham and Ghetto, we used to have our, our tags on the back. What did you do in the East as well? Yeah, and you know what it was, yeah? You see, even in Stratford as well, yeah? I have to be honest, bro. You see, a lot of like, well, the people that I was around at a certain age, at that young age, they was, for example, our estate at one time, there was one estate in Stratford called Red Brick. That was inspired from Peckham's Yellow Brick. Do you get what I'm saying to you? But okay. we had Red Bricks. Do you get what I'm saying to you? And I mm. just made that name. I asked them, why is it called Red Brick? And they said that. And I said, okay. You get what I'm saying to you? So yeah. Yeah, I don't know that, but for my set, like even I remember my little crew, we had boiler suits. And we used to have our names on the back. Like, that was our little, like, seeing that Hood Cadets was around. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. Hood Cadets in Newham, like, we was, for our age group, we popped. Do you get what I'm saying to you? We done music. There was one of us that just loved fighting. He was a So before, 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 before we get there, then, it's like, so you've gone to this school, 
and yeah, yeah, who, are yeah. you, who, who are you mixing with, hanging around with, and that, that becomes sort of your gang? All right, cool. My gang straight away as I go to school is... Because you've got to remember now, this is kind of school's a bit notorious and that now, so I'm thinking, oh, what's going on there? So I gravitated to the weed smokers straight away. You get what I'm saying to you? Mm. That? So I had a set of... I was in year 10, a set of year 11s. Great people, bro. And one of them, the last time I ever saw him, I didn't even proper hail him up properly. I was in a mad state them days. You get me? And I said, oh, walk around, bro. I should have took it. You know what I'm saying to you? But anyway, he mm. was a proper good guy. And he was from um, Kingsmead Estate. Yeah. So that's in Hackney, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. And boom, we had him. There was a boy, um, Amjad. He was from an Asian boy. Like we was that. Like, he was Turkish. We had the Asian boy, Dylan, a Filipino. You get me? So I mixed like we were just a little multicultural get high crew. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. At that time though, I was on my badness, isn't it? So I was just like, I, I was chill with them and that. But then occasionally I'll just go and do my own thing and just do my badness. You get me? Yeah. Like, was I was always that guy to do things by myself, you know? Mm. Like, because I had to be, I was put in positions where, like, shit, it was by myself, and I was used to go places by myself, and the, the first things that happened to me that changed me was when I was by myself. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. So, at which point, then, do you, does it become that you start repping in Stratford? Or was it at this point that where you was kind of cool with Cannon Town and everyone? Where, or what, what, what point was that, okay, now I'm a, I'm a Stratford and Plaster. What happened there? Right, so what happened is, uh, um, I thought that was like you know I just lived in Stratford, didn't I? I lived in I, I didn't live in Forest Gate no more, but I still used to always say Forest Gate in my, some of my lyrics and that. Do you get what I'm saying to you? I still like yeah. Forest Gate, but it was Stratford and Plaster and Crazy Titch was like an idol to an inspiration. You get what I'm saying to you? So it was mm. like Stratford to Plaster. Like, that's what it was, isn't it? For a minute, like, that's what I. You see, most of my family, Humberstone Road, that's where my uncle used to live. So I used to spend a lot of my nights there, bro. That's E13. You get what I'm saying to you? Bro? Mm. That's around the corner from Greengate. You get what I'm saying to you? And that I used to train and play football in Plasto. Like, we used to meet Greengate every Saturday, like, for years and years. You get what I'm saying to you? Play at yeah. Brampton Academy. So the transition came when about 15, I stopped, I stopped um, playing football, really. Like, literally, my cousin's house was... At the bottom of the road from Brampton Manor, isn't it? So like he's got a studio in his house, isn't it? So that was yeah. I just stopped going football. I'll go, I'll go studio for a bit, then go football, just play a little bit, and then leave. You get what I'm saying? I wasn't taking it serious, and that do you get me? Mm. So then that's the type of times I started like Stratford and Prosto serious. Because before that, yeah. I used to chill in Beckton, you know. Yeah. I, I used to chill with the original Beckton lot, innit? it? Like, mm. But then these times everyone was cool, innit? So it wasn't like a, you get what I'm saying to you? I just yeah. chilled everywhere. You don't rep I didn't rep Beckton, but I was cool with everyone. I chilled there for that couple summers, you get me? Mm. So yeah, I was about 15, 16, them times now when I'm leaving school. When I'm in school, I still rep Stratford and I, I rep where I was from, innit? New a minute. Yeah. Like 15, 16, that's when I proper started repping Stratford. But you gotta remember, yeah, like yeah, the beef weren't fry and that that man. When yeah. I was where, where where did the name Tiny come from? Tiny, when I was like very young, yeah. Obviously, I always told him orders, isn't it? So when mm. I was young and that, I was in good maze and that, and then fucking one of the, I was with like some old, like, yeah, bro. I was with so at these times, there was a, a bad boys for their age group, innit? And then mm. their OGs were OGs, innit? So I was in a chicken shop one day and they said, we can't think of a name for, for our young G. Do you get me? Mm. And then he goes, um, some two, these are two OGs, like even to this day, they're big OGs, isn't it? From like ill town mm. and all that. You get me? They probably don't even remember who I am, recognize me, but they were just like tiny. You get me? From that, ever since that, I just ran with it. Tiny, you get me? And then mm. before I knew it, my name was just ringing about. Even when I was a little kid, like my name was ringing about. You get me? So I, I, did, I didn't link up with Criminal Start. With Criminal. Um, obviously, it's on the end, isn't it? Like, he's like from my end. He's and then with the, the, the music, the, the, they just naturally my... collaborate on music. Bro, this is what happened. I was a fan of these, man, isn't it? Like, I'm younger, a couple years younger than them, man. Them, man, criminals popping, isn't it? Like, them, man, are cold with it, isn't it? So, like, fucking, I used to go to studio all the time. Brutal's house, obviously. Um, uh, Little Nasty was there one day, isn't it? Mm. And I was like, let me do a tune. Uh, do a tune with me, bro. And he's like, oh, yeah. Then I was like, no, nah, let's do a tune, bro. Like, boom. Trust me, I'm cold. And he was like, let me hear you something then. And I went in the booth. I was like, watch, boom. And he was like, oh, you're, how old are you? I was like, 13 or something, yeah? He was like, oh, you're cold. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. From that, fucking, 
Yeah, Grimman that heard about me. I done, I done, does this thing, which was a banger. You get what I'm saying? To you, Dot Rotten made the beat, and then fucking yeah, like the, even Dot Rotten, all these. Uh, I was gonna go into a mad thing, but maybe I can hold this for the next bit. I could go into bad stories, you know, mm. about so many things, bro. Is a mad thing, but fucking yeah, Dot Rotten made the beat, brutal than the hook, and it was a mad thing. Like, that was the first video I actually done, and like, no one my age them days, no one had videos and that. Not even the old like. Not even Grimm and that really had videos like that. Do you get what I'm mm. saying to you these days? So it was lit. Do you get what I'm saying to you? So then Grimm was in that video. Obviously, he was around. Like, he's from the ends, isn't it? So then he was like, no, I want to, like, I want to, like, do music with Tiny. Like, I want, I want to bring Tiny around me. Do you get me? Yeah. So for me, that was a mad thing, innit? But then I was like, cool. And then from that, we just started, like, coming closer and closer and closer to the point where, like, I was always with him, like, every day, bro. And you said you started making, doing music and touring and stuff like that with them? Yeah, man, I've done everything with him, like, everything that he done, basically, at like, that stage when he was popping and that, I was with him, like, everywhere, like, everything done. Now, from, I guess then, from your knowledge, mm. what's the moment that you the division between what is now known as Southside Newham and Northside Newham? What was the key moment? The key moment was obviously a definite... Mm. Rest in peace to all the fallen. You get me? Rest in peace. And it was a death. That was it. I don't really want to talk too much about that whole... Yeah, and no, I want to get into it. I want to get to the... the but, as I said, at, at, at that moment when that's happened, was you in a position where automatic is like, all right, cool. That's happened, so I'm on this side now. Fuck them. I'm not even talking. There's no mediation. That's it. What was your mindset at the time? At first, I, when I got involved in it, I was like that. You know, everyone can get it from that side. But at the same time, before that, I wasn't involved. You've got to remember, Plasto, Custom Mouth, that's not a beef, bro. It's a sets. There's sets from every area. Do you get what I'm saying, too? I don't know about mm. them times. To me, my knowledge, they're all together, isn't it? I don't know, isn't it? But mm. there's ends, isn't it? So, for example, Green Gate, they was not involved. They never beefed Custom Mouth, bro. Like, mm. Do you get what I'm saying to you? They were all friends in my eyes. Do you get what I'm saying to you, bro? So it was like, mm. it was sets, innit? And then when you chill with certain sets, like, I'm just Stratford and Plasto, me, innit? So I can go, I'm going everywhere, doing everything. And then when I'm doing so much and creating a name for myself and now I'm becoming that guy, it's like, you see things, innit? And then, yeah, you just want to, like, obviously this is your ends, innit? So you want to mm. back your end at the same time. Like, it's a mad thing, innit? Like, at the same time, what happened with the death, that affected me, bro, as well, because, like, that day, I was supposed to be there, innit? Like, bro, yeah. text me, like, and he said, can, basically, like, come that, basically, this, he gave me the bird, like, he knew, he's so real, yeah? Like, rest in peace, Stephen Lewis, bro, you know, he was so real, like, he was just on it from me, there was no fear for him, and he was so little, bro, you get what I'm saying, too? Mm. So, anyway, I was supposed to go, and that day, I was in Green Gate, and I was getting radio. There's radio or that rave in it. And Grim said, "Go radio and that." And certain man said they was going in it to the to the rave anyway. It's cool. You get mm. me? Cool. So that was like, do I get involved or do I not? But at the same time, it was like, it wasn't my like, it wasn't my beef in it. Like at the same time, bro, like what's, what's happened? Do you get what I'm saying to that? Mm. I don't know. It was just weird, didn't it? It was weird. That was like, I wanted to get involved, but at the same time, I don't know, man. It was hard, because not everyone would like... It was weird. They wasn't really doing nothing in that, in the end. There was a couple of... A little time where things was happening, and then it went back to nothing. And then all of a sudden, everything changed, bro, innit? it? Like, I just, like, said, fuck this one day. I don't know what it was. Something triggered me. I said, fuck this, bro. And then we just, like, got into it, and then... I see everyone else start changing, bro. And then I'm not going to lie, we just caused havoc, man. For the whole of Newham, like, we caused havoc, bro. I don't care what anyone says. We we was menaces, bro. To get my batch, horrible. Mm. Horrible. So, at that, at, that, at that point, was you ever in fear of your own life or your own safety or just, you know what, I don't even care. Whatever happens, happens. At that point, I didn't care, you know. Shall I tell you why? Because I grew up, like, you see me, like, I like, loved my dad more than anyone, anything. You know what I'm saying to you? And that, and you see him, like, the way he used to treat man and that, call me these names and all these kind of things and that, yeah? Because the things that were happening there, like, I was like, you know what, bro? Like, I have no love left here. Do you get what I'm saying to you? And that, like, at home, mum didn't understand what I was going through because she was just a good woman. She don't get these things. You know what I'm saying to you? And that, mm. so it was just like, bro, it's what it is. I thought, like, honestly, 
I'm gonna die in it by 18. I'm dead or I'm in jail in it like for M in it because I'm not gonna lie. I was trying to catch an M like them times as well to get not even for these man for anyone man beef. You gotta remember everyone just said customers, bro. Half of customers but guys or at that time or that I don't even know who they are, bro. Like man, mm. it was just their ends thing. I just read my ends and who my friends are like and obviously we beef people. And the, I lived on Abbey Road. We used to beef, man, on the lane, bro. On the next lane, bro. Like, real mm. beef and that. To the point where big men are involved. And I'm going to my dad's house. And I'm seeing their wedding invitations on the side and that. And I'm thinking, huh? Like, you know what I'm saying to you? Like, bro. Like, it was mad, didn't it? Man, yeah, it was mad. Like, man literally was beefing everyone. Didn't it? Anyone, man, saw. Any place we went to, we of course, like, something would happen. And it kicked off. Like, we was just angry kids, didn't it? Like, do you, do, 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 I mean, looking at looking back at it now as a grown adult, what do you think it was then the catalyst that made you guys so angry? Was it just the death or you just thought, you know what, there was no hope, there was no opportunities, nothing was happening in the ends, there was no money-making chances? You just would you, what, what was making you everyone so angry? I think it's angry? a bit of everything. I think it's a bit of everything, bro. All of them things, that's a bit of everything. It's a bit of everything, mm. literally. Like, so, all of them combined into one, innit? Because you've got to remember that like, people are hurting, innit? Like, people are... Yeah, life, like, come on, bro. It's fucked, mm. isn't it? Life so, fucked, but, yeah. so how, how did it get then, from from your understanding, how did it get then from, okay, uh, issues happen where someone sadly passed away, but now it's like different parts of Newham have linked up and then different parts of Newham have linked up. How's it a thing then where, for example, now it's Beckton, Canning Town, Customers have all linked up and then there's like Northside from Forest Gate and so on have all linked up. Why I has that happened? Why has it become... Because obviously, I don't know, man. I couldn't even tell you, but I don't, I'm not talking because I don't know about all that shit. Man. I'm not involved in that gang life. You seem like I wanted to come in here. You know what it is? I had a, a, a format which maybe I should have spoke to you about before, yeah? I mm -hmm. said, let's go for But that can do that anytime. Do you get what I'm saying to you? See what it is we've done now. I've just let it done natural. This is your platform. Do you get me? But there's certain mm -hmm. things, them things I can't No, listen, if there's, if there's certain things you don't want to talk about, yeah, by all means, we keep it. I, we, 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 yeah, I can only speak yeah. about my life and my life experiences, isn't it, bro? You get what mm. I'm saying to you and that? And things that hurt me and changed me. Do you get what I'm saying to you and that? But, like, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let, uh, let's get to that point then. Okay, um, there's, there's, there's then a, a, a period mm. that you are injured. Yeah. Can you talk about that one? Yeah, I can talk about that one. Cool. So, you see them things about me? I could talk about them ones and that. That's, uh, that's cool. fine, isn't it, bro? Yeah. Yeah. All right, there's a, there's, there's a point then, I guess, then you're stabbed. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're, we're, without going through individuals and stuff, do you remember that day itself, how it happened and how you got caught? I remember clearly, bro, because I was a walking fucking time bomb. I was a nuisance, in it? So it wasn't about being caught in that I was there, innit? Like, I'm here, bro. Like, it wasn't being caught. The people, like, OGs from them side saw me two days ago and I walked through about eight of them with two of my people. You get what I'm saying, too? Like, mm. two days before that incident. A week before that, one of my friends lived on the other side, and I swear to God, no word in my life, like, hand on my heart, yeah? Me and him, pontoons, dock, all that, from Cannon Town, went to pontoons, dock, park, thing, little, whatever it is, running weed, walked out to customer. Even I was telling, bro, this is mad, you know? Like, are you understanding what my doing, really doing, bro? Just me and mm. little dog. And he used to say, bro, like, you're good, like, this is how I know about spiritual things. You get what I'm saying to you? Because I used to say, bro. But you see me, if I'm with my bro, I'm just with my bro them days. I used to, I didn't care. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Like, mm. So we was, then we'll go to Butcher's Road. No, not Butcher's, is it Butcher's? No, Freemason's Road. Go to the shop, get bare. Like, it was just like, I was moving normal. Like, I didn't have beef there, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to you? So then, yeah, when I got, where I got bored, it was in the other side, bro. Like, like West End, basically the other side, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Like, so, mm. yeah. So what how, what actually happened then? You just walk in, you see them, they chase you. Nah, I'm in the fucking football cage playing football, and imagine the irony, yeah. I don't know if you, you know, Lester Thomas. I saw him on one of your things actually, that 32 Borough Cups, yeah. Okay, just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know him, yeah. 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 Cool. So obviously, it was my coach in that at the time when playing the kid. Cause you gotta remember, I pulled out with all these Michael Nagus. He played for Liverpool at a time where I'm thinking, shit, I support Liverpool. I was levels with these man. You get me? So I'm balling mm. like with all these ballers, you get what I'm saying to you? Leicester and that. Anyway, can't even say that. Leicester, he fucking was there coaching his team. Now I don't play football now, man. I'm a bad boy, you get me? So I've mm. gone in the cage to play 
with just some people from my end. I'm not gonna lie, they weren't even really involved in the beef like that. But there was people who grew up around, man, like yeah, who, who looked up to. You. Those are my oldest, bro. I can't lie to you, innit? So mm. any, I'm in the one wearing one side of the cage playing football. Then my old teams on the other side of the cage, they're playing football. But you got to remember, I was a menace. You see, from my age group. I used to bully everyone like that I would come across like so even at football, if you wasn't like my friend or like I didn't like you, like I'd just get on to you, innit? So yeah. I heard someone, I don't know, innit, because yeah, someone making bird calls, all these things. Because this is what everyone does, you know. Everyone says about snitching. I hear all these snitching allegations too. Man's never snitched in my life. No one's ever been nicked. You get what I'm saying? For me and all these things. So obviously it's like but I can only say the story, what happens or what I heard, innit? Yeah. So anyway, I was playing football. I heard someone made the bird call. A person that I beat up like, when I was a kid and that. So anyway, I'm playing football. Then I just remember looking behind there yeah, and I see bare man, bro, yeah? I see, like, the whole... You see the cage, bro, yeah? Yeah. Like, the whole cage of it filled with about 30 men. Do you get what I'm saying to you, bro? Mm. That I'm just like, raw, bro. Like, I don't know who they come for. What's going on about these times, you know? These times, to get into the cage, you have to climb through the whole window. There's one way in, one way yeah. out. You have to get into. Cool, these times now, nah, fuck him. That and means you've got no escape. <laughs> no escape, bro. But obviously, I don't know who they were coming for me, bro. So, mm. someone's jumped in. I just remember seeing someone holding something, whatever they was holding, I don't know. These times now, nah, bro, fucking... They're running me down, isn't it? Like, they, like, they come to me like, you're, yeah, tiny, yeah? And I'm like, oh, shit. So you see at this time, though, you see adrenaline, yeah? And what they're holding is like, yeah, this is a serious thing. You get what I'm saying to you? So mm. it's like, I don't even have time to think. So you see now, I've turned into Usman Dembele, bruv. You get what I'm saying to you? <laughs> but this ain't football. This ain't... So now I'm just running around this cage using bare agility, dropping the shoulder. You get me and that? Mm. I'm just dodging bare thing. Because the reason why I've done that as well, because... Everyone I was with just started running, bro. Everyone just started moving mad and started firm. The whole place, even the other team now, you got Leicester, 10 boys come here. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Yeah. mad. So, bro, like, yeah, bro, we just went off, innit? Next thing I remember, like, I remember some boys saying, I can't catch him. Like, he was bare breath. I just can't get him. And then I was kind of like, but I need a break now. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Kind of like celebrating that little, yeah, man. Like, that's like me scoring a goal. And then... He's fucking ended up. Someone's hit me or something. I don't know. I remember falling, but I put my hand out and I remember looking and I held someone's shirt. Yeah, and I remember the person who turned around. It was like, my swear to God, that the one thing that this is like one of my best friends, isn't it? And he looked at me and he was like, "Get off me, blood." That's the last thing I remember. So obviously, I'm not gonna like hold on to him if you tell me to get off you, isn't it? I let mm. go. So the next, I remember I woke up in the hospital in Whitechapel, bro. I woke up in a chair like this. I was like, boy, that happened. That we're after. I said, that's happened. I said, I'm alive. Oh, so did you, did you actually yeah. think you was going to die? Fam, I was battered. I can't remember. You see in UFC, I don't know if you see, but there's one woman there and there's a picture. I remember, I never just stands out to me and her face was fucked up. Fam. She was like an alien, yeah? Mm. Fam, my face was similar to that. Fam. I was mashed up. It's not like they just a couple of nights and that, yeah? Boom. You know what I'm saying to you? I don't... And you know who it is? I don't know who it is to this day, bro. And I don't really care to be honest. I move past that. You know what I'm saying to you? But mm. they were screaming out what they were screaming and wearing their bandanas. So they obviously wanted to be so seen who it was. You get me? Like, mm. so, but, um... Yeah, bro. I thought, yeah, that was it, bro. That was... And then that was a wake-up call to me, though, that, raw. you survived that, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to you? That you survived... That mad thing, like it was. Do you do you think do you think they were trying to kill you or just hurt you? I don't I don't know, to be honest. I don't really care, fam. All I know is, yeah, at that time I was beefing bare people. I was doing badness on the streets, isn't it? I was doing mm. very bad things, isn't it? So it was like somebody wanted to like I was beef. That in my own ends, bro. I had beef with like big people, as I said, but I I used to do bad things, isn't it? So like. Yeah, bro, I, I knew certain, sooner or later someone was going to check. So that was just a wake-up call to me, like, this is too close. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Because I'm seeing my family and that, bro, and how much my mum is having a meltdown. you got to remember now, I'm still out here, bro, but oh, I'm feds, bro, and now, like, pulling up in my yard and raiding my house, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to you? My mum is a good woman who's never experienced nothing like that, no structure yeah. in her life. Do you get what I'm saying to you, bro? 
So imagine things like that. That's when I started saying, yo, fam, this thing's not really worth it, bro. People are threatening to run up in my mum's house. This ain't even CH and that, you know. This is this is next people, bro. This is, yeah? Mm. Bad, fam. That is me. So but, uh, after you've been stabbed, have you taken a break or have you gone back to music or you like, did you, because I think you said um, you made the song afterwards. Was it a thing that where you felt, because sometimes when people get touched, is like sometimes it puts the fear in them, and other times it's like you know what right, I survived that I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep coming. How did you feel at the time? Say that again, sir. I was reading the silly comments, but yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, so I'm saying like, sometimes when uh, someone's being touched, yeah, someone's being stabbed or shot, whatever it is, they're being injured. Sometimes it's like you know what oh fuck this life, man. I'm done straight away. Other times it's I oh, you know what I still survive. Yeah, you got, like two for example. I got shot five times. I still breathing. Started cussing everyone. Was it a thing that way? You just stopped straight away, or no, did I you come video, back into it? I, don't, I was about. I was still about, but it was just like I just kept seeing it, and then like where I'm not really because you got to remember, yeah. I wanted to retaliate straight away. I wanted to go and bang out. That was my instant reaction. But I'm yeah. injured, bro. I'm not just stabbed. Like I'm injured, bro. Like they was all checking. Not about my stabbing, it's about my brain damage, bro. Like, if I had any brain damage or something, bro. You mm. know what I'm saying, too? So, like, I'm walking on mad crutches. Like, I can't grab that. So, what did I do? I read that on the beat. Do you get what I'm saying? To? And I've done one freestyle, which is dissing a lot of people and that. And I want to send my condolences also, yeah, because Storming, yeah, this is another quick thing. We're going to change. Storming, RIP to a minute, we had some little politics, yeah. But I got to... Um, I'm so happy that I changed my life around because I got to, before he died... I got to resolve my issues with him. I saw him and that, and I saw him face to face. You get me and that, and I said mm. to him, bro, like, and, and we resolved our issues and that. Do you get what I'm saying to you? So things like that, bro, yeah? Fucking, um, yeah, man. So there's that, that, a point that, then. things that was realising that like, he died, not so, but not from street shit. That was after and that, and then when he yeah. died, that kind of hit me, like, well, I've done the right thing, do you get me? But, um, yeah, sir, carry on. But also, at this point, your name is ringing because of uh, the music. You're one of the people yeah. on the scenes. You're getting millions of views. you got a song with but Myers. But that doesn't mean nothing to me because when I was getting a million views and that, and I was the one who created a lot of songs that got the instrumentals for everything. Like, me and Griminal took off. Griminal was the guy who, like, I owe everything in music to Brutal and Griminal. That's facts, isn't it, yeah? Mm. But when I was doing things, getting a million views before anyone did in the end... I was broke, fam. Like, I was, uh, you get what I'm saying to you? I was doing silly things on it. You get what I'm saying to you, fam? I didn't have... No, the point, the, no, the point I was making was Bro. that do you then think you should have gone on and pursued the music industry? Because, yes, you said you but wasn't what making was I money. What was going to rap about? No, then, because I tried to do a bit of music and no one cared. People like the badness of you. That's what I wanted to even talk about, yeah? People like the badness, bro. And if I'm not, that's why, you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. I wasn't doing the badness no more. That's what people liked about me. I was really doing the badness, isn't it? The people really... Yeah. Liked. Yeah, I was doing badness, all right. So you felt... I guess you felt... Because you're not going to do the badness no more, you didn't feel it was authentic. Yeah, so why am I doing this thing no more? This ain't my life no more. I need to move on and get some money. Mm. This music thing was showing me, man. I've seen a million views and all that, and I've got no clothes in my wardrobe, big man. Mm. I'm wearing that uh, dead clothes to my video shoot. Yeah. Come on, man. What is this thing here? Like, what... I didn't have no one guiding me. Why weren't no family members or anyone investing in man or saying, look, this guy's doing something positive. He's getting mm. a million views. He's doing all these things. Do you get what I'm saying to you? And no, no, no one's trying to manage you. They have a, one of the older say, let me manage you, nothing. A few people, but uh, to be honest, man, I just fucking, I don't know. Man. One sec. You with me? Yeah, fucking. Yeah. I had a few people in it, man, but I was always like educated in it. So I was like, I didn't want to sign myself to anyone in it. I just wanted to be my own man. I always wanted to be my own man in it. I didn't want to be in debt yeah. with anyone in it. Mm. Mm. So then I guess the point that where this has all happened, you've been injured, you've um, come off the. Uh, so you've fucked off music, yeah. and then you just kind of ghosted. What was the process? What happened? Uh, I just thought, you know what I was doing? I still done Start A Right. I didn't even want to do Start A Right video and all them videos. But yeah. for the sake of bro, that my love for bro, I said, you know what, fuck it, I'll do it, innit? Like, you get what I'm saying to you? There's a banger, innit? So 
I've done mm. it, but I didn't want to do music no more. Like, that part of me kind of, like, it went, in it? I didn't see no money from it. I just want to see money now. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Like, that's yeah. my dream driven it. I want to get money. So what was the next process after that? Started working and that, bro. Dead jobs, dead jobs. And then I got a good job and I was, like, earning some decent. Bro, retail and that, but I was working, doing the 12 hours. So did you, did, you, did you move off ends or were you still in London at the time? I moved off, but every time I moved off ends, yeah, I've still always been in the ends, bro. But I've just been yeah. like, I, I, I'm a, like, you don't see me, Houdini. You know what I'm saying, too, fam? Yeah. I've always been, like, I've never been too far away from ends, bro. You know what I'm saying, too? But ends are even the place to be, to be honest with you, man. They ain't not well, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pause it a second, because we're about to reach an hour, and then it'll only last for an hour on Instagram Live, and then I'll come back on. So I'm going to pause much, it. Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but but yeah. So um, yeah. So, so you, you sort of left ends, and then you're going to work nine to five retail. Bro. How did you? How did you feel at the time? Because sometimes people see it as, oh, my man's he's not on the road no more. He's fell off. He's going to do nine to five, and they see it like it's a bad thing when it's not a bad thing. Did you ever sort of buck into anyone seeing you work in your retail? And you, did you ever feel a sense of embarrassment? But sometimes people, I don't know why, they just feel embarrassed about it. From I see um from I was embarrassed and I was getting money from I was getting more money than I ever made on the road from that like, yeah. yeah I was happy from yeah, so, so, so when when you worked retail you never saw anyone like on ends or anyone that's and yeah, the, with, with, I worked in a big place in it so I saw people but it's what isn't it were they shocked were they like yo yeah. <laughs> but I'm getting money I don't care about no one no more I had to go up like, I not care and the reason why I was trying to go into my youth and all that yeah to show why I don't care about anything bro I don't mm. care about anyone or anything yeah like I can come on here people can cuss me just think I care bro the reason I've done this today is for kids to understand it's fine to be yourself I was so talented that. and people can vouch you really know me they can vouch and the proof is there in the pudding you get what I'm saying yeah. to you and that so you can be yourself, bro. And I'm not, like, perfect right now. I'm not rich. I'm not, oh, happy every day. I suffer through things, bro. Sometimes I suffer through mad depression, bro. PTSD, I suffer through, God, go through it, bro. But kids at young, they don't have to, they can take their left. You see, when I was at that football stage, that went to go music, road, da, da, da. They can go on the football music stage, bro. They can keep going. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Even mm. if you play for Steve in the FC, bro, or if you play for Crawley Town, Bro, that's a good club. You get what I'm saying to you? That's football, fam. That's a job. That's something for your family to be proud of. We all just want to play for our oh, Man United. We all just want to be skept out. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. Bro, you can't. You have to be yourself, fam. Do you get what I'm saying to you? I'm a football coach now, level two. The, everyone can cuss me. I get thirty pounds an hour certain times. I charge even twenty pounds sometimes when I want to. You, thirty pounds an hour, bro. I get. I don't do bare hours a day, but man, that's a nice, bro. You get what I'm saying too. Uh. I've done refing. I do bare things. I coach kids. I'm qualified. I've never had a qualification in my life. I left school with no qualifications at a big age of about twenty four, twenty five. I've done the first level one. Now I'm 27, bro. I've got level two. Do you get what I'm saying to you, bro? And I'm keeping progressing, bro. So I'm trying to teach you and that, like, you get what I'm saying to you? Show them that football's the way, bro. And show my knowledge that I got. The reason I didn't make it is because of my attitude and because of my bad boyness. You get me? Mm. I'm doing coaching in some some nice push ends, fam. And you go out to these push ends and think, oh, the kids are in here. Lovely, dude. They made it. Like, they're all right. You get me? Don't have no worries. You meet some bad kids around there, bro. You meet a lot of kids whose family own food and that, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Like, I'm like, it's mad out there. So that's what, the whole main reason I came on this thing was for that message to become that. I can go through everything. The whole of everyone can say, Tiny's a push or Tiny's this, Tiny's that, Tiny's this. I couldn't give two shits. Do you think they all evolved me, bro? If you saw my bull dead right now, I'm not going to do it, innit, before. Hey, we'll go viral, bro. I just <laughs> cut my hair. I did a mad thing. I'm, you see me? I don't care about no one, bro. This is how I live. 
Because caring about anyone who, I've wanted to kill myself. How could I care about what anyone else feels about me when I've been that low in my life, bro? Uh. I've lost friends, yeah? Close to me, bro. Sammy Guns, yeah, was a brother that, like, a little brother to me, bro. I love this boy, bro. I could have gone to how, how I met him and all these things. I don't need to go into all that, bro, because it was deep. I don't even want to get emotional. I love that boy. Liam Muddard, I love that boy, bro. My older brother, that boy. Even when everyone was chatting shit in the ends, people were apparently not in the ends. I was staying on his little two-man sofa thing, bro. This guy used to look after me, bro. And the day he died, bro, I texted him. I was five minutes away from Westwood. I looked at Westwood and I saw him the BB. Do you remember BB days, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, his status was Westfield Holler. This was his birthday turn up in there. And I remember messaging him. I said, sorry, I can't be. I was thinking, should I go there? Should I go there? And the person I was with just said, no, nah, man. Just go, go to where you're going, isn't it? I was going to my uncle's friend's people where I just smoke weed and stay out of trouble. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Drink a yeah. drink. me. What happened, bruv? One of my boys, Kitty, Kitty Six Summers phones, man. He don't even know that I don't know. This is my... This is like my big, one of my big brothers, someone that is a good guy that you never expect. He weren't banging that. Like, you get what I'm saying? He was around us, but he weren't banging, innit? Man phoned me like, oh, bro, my condolences, fam. I'm like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? You get what I'm saying? He's like, uh. what do you mean, bro? You don't know. It's like, your bro died and that. I'm saying, bro. I'm saying, chatting shit. I hanged up the phone. I phoned one of my OG straight away. We wasn't even talking at the time, innit? I phoned my OG straight away. I said, bro. What the fuck? What kind of phone call did I just get? He said, bruv, what the fuck? He said, are we riding out? We didn't even know who it was, what it was, nothing, innit? He said, are you riding out? Or what, bruv? That's the exact word he said to me. I said, bruv, come fucking get me, but this is, my, this is where I am right now, innit? Yeah? That's the first thing, I, and I just couldn't believe it. I hung up the phone. And I didn't even cry. I didn't cry about it to the funeral, bruv. And, bro, that one there, it broke my straw. You see things like that, bro. Like the situation. I don't want to talk about it. I wasn't there. I don't know nothing about it, innit, bro? But that one broke me, innit? Like things like that broke me. And so you, that, you mentioned yeah. like PTSD so, and um, have you ever have you ever sought therapy? Um, yeah, that's what got me into the coaching. So okay. I went to that mind the organization, and they were so lovely. There was a there's a sexy, beautiful young lady. She's I think what basically motivated me to. I was like, oh, I went to this place just because family saying go there will help. I didn't want to go there, and I was like, fuck these people on me, innit? And then they just, it was like fate, innit? They introduced me to this. And I walked in there, she looked at me, I looked at her, yeah? You get me? Them days, not every day I'm doing rough, you get me? Some days, mm. like, when I wanted to, I could do it. Like, you get me? So cool. Mm. Fucking, yeah, bro. Like, she, um, I done a mentoring course, I didn't end up finishing that. But um, she done that level one for me, blah, blah, blah. Then she got me into the job that I got, bro, with the coaching and that. Like, do you get what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Um, I met the, my boss. And then ever since then, bro, it's been more working and working and working. It's the academy that I work at. And then, like, their first team's like tier six, I think. Do you get what I'm saying to you? So, yeah. it's like semi pro. Um, e e J A Eastern Junior Alliance. That is um, yeah. what, like, yeah, I know that, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying to you? And then one step above that is fucking pro and that. Do you get what I'm saying to you? So, I'm just trying to work my way up. But it's hard, bro, being in society. I'm a little rough London boy with my skin colour in society full of fucking, yeah? Sorry for my language. Full of people that not and not educated to someone like me. Do you get what I'm saying? That's not respectful because they've never, they never used to experience or meet people like me because they're from a small little town or whatever. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was hard transition. But then when they realised how good I am and how much I connected, bro, all my team was white boys, bro, and they all loved me. It's all like my little brothers, fam. Like I don't see mm. colour, I don't see, I don't see anything. That like, I'm just mm. here for the kids. I'm here. Who wants to be the next footballer? I don't care how much money that your parents have got. These kids, it doesn't matter, bro, because they can still go down the right path. I've seen my friends, bro, footballers mm. that should have been Ismail de Montenac was the next Raheem. He was Raheem Sterling before Raheem Sterling was Raheem Sterling. Okay. Ask people from Newham if they like you get me Google and Wikipedia. Ismail Demont and I was the bad boy. He never had. He had a great. He had a career. Had a great career. He's proud. He should be proud of himself. But he never turned out to be Raheem Sterling. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I've seen these things happen. I've seen the money, money and everything, bro. This guy used to come to the ends. Gucci. If you don't know about Gucci, ask people about him. And he was gets his cousin as well. You get me? So he was yeah. around in the music thing and all that. Fam. Drippiest nigga under LV. You don't even man don't know what L what man struggling for night these times, bro. Mm. But fam, do you get me? But what did the money? Nathan Ashton, he was the goat. 
of pro star. Like he was the guy like of ends football. He was playing in Prem and that like, driving Range Rovers like these times that like, Range Rovers were big rare. Yeah, you know I'm saying to big, yeah. big parents and that don't have that bro riding through. He went done armed robberies and that went prison, bro. Of professional in the Premier League, bro. You ended up going to prison and doing that mad stretch. For, but, bro, it's about mental. It's about life. It's, it's not easy just doing this football thing. You've got to yeah. be that mentally stare, bro. And when you're from the ends, bro, it's a sad place, bro, isn't it? Like, so, obviously, all this stuff that's going on, all these killings, all these things, bro, it's fucking, like, bro, it's sad. The other day, the ends lost a boy, bro. Great boy, bro. Nata, bro. Nata. All right, Peter Nata. He, me and him used to clash and that. Even one time I tried to do this bad boy thing to him. And, but even the day when I tried to do this thing to him, bro, yeah, the people he was with was going to try and rush me and that. He said, no, you can't do that. I know his cousin and that. But I just moved to him, basically, bro. That's how much of a good person the boy was, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to him? That? He's died and someone's been convicted by only 18 years old, yeah? I don't know the incidents. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know. Do you know how sad that is? Two great people, like, sorry, one great person, Nate, I don't know who the other person is, but a young boy, he's a human, he's a man. An 18 year old boy has now probably going to serve a murder in life, bro. You get what I'm saying, too? And uh. Nate and now is not going to be able to do music or be around his family and that. Do you know how sad that is, bro? And, and that's, the, that's the reality of the, 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 the street life as well, because I've got another interview that's coming out tomorrow with uh, Big mm. French, and he's in his 30s now early 30s and he talks about how sometimes it still catches up with you in later days and let and you always must be vigilant is that something that you you're still kind of wary of i know you're not in that lifestyle no more you forever bro because i've done yeah forever bro to the day i die bro i always mm. be wary. i could never drop my guard from yeah like, I can't even, I don't go places like certain places, I don't want to go with my family. Do you get what I'm saying to you? I don't, yeah. like, this thing will hold, like, like, bro, I don't want people to go through this. I want them to wake up and before they go through and do the mad thing or even just put their face in them. Do you get what I'm saying to you? You don't need to, yeah. even putting your face in the video these days will get you here hurt, bro. You don't need to do that, bro. Stay out of that shit, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Put your face in a video, go rap about girls or money, bro, or, or how good you are at football. SC Dons can do it, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to you, bro? Big up SC Don. Do you get what I'm saying? Shout out Don Strapsy. Shout out Don Strapsy. Come still. on, bro. There are people who are kind of people that we need for the community, bro. There's a boy from ends. Um, they're called Levels Above the Rest. I think this boy Terry Bobby and I used to like. Nah, I don't think this boy probably likes me. That like, as I said when I was young, I was just a like, bad. If you're not on badness, I didn't like no one. I didn't. If they weren't on badness, did it? Mm. But what a guy, bro. I think he's a new um the district one of the managers he's got the level above the rest academy gets players into academies that's what we need bro do you get what i'm saying to you people like this bro all the olders we moan about the youngers what the fuck do the olders do bro what does everyone do i'm i'm i'm, 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 I'm what, what have i done but that's what i'm trying to give wisdom now right now do you get what i'm saying to you i'm trying mm. to give some wisdom this is what i'm trying to give back one day i would love to set up an academy in the ends bro i'd love to set up a music studio in the ends bro I'd love to do you, still, do you still talk to anyone from your from the end from before, or is it like you know what I'm just doing my own thing? I talk to a few people, but not like that at all. Bro. Yeah. I talk to a few people, and I don't have no animosity for anyone in the past, do it? And I want to say, you see, for badness, you see me. I'll tell you a quick story, yeah, which is funny, yeah. And I don't incriminate myself in any things, yeah. But I was into a lot of robberies at the time, innit? When I was young, yeah. Yeah. Robbing from, and it started off little things, and it got to big things, innit? Like, yeah, but. The first time I, I ever got robbed, yeah, I went to link a girl. I'm like 11, bro, yeah? I've only been robbed twice, yeah, bro? And that, I had my phone. I went to link a girl and I had a nice walkman, you get me? But you see, these times, I'm 11. I shouldn't be getting on a bus that's like 35, 45 minutes, 40 minutes away from... No, yeah. no, about 35 minutes away from my house to go link a girl. So I'm paying light, you think, mad, paying model. You get know what I'm saying to you? I shouldn't be doing that at 11, bro. I've done that. Carlos, story short. Four guys have come to man there. Yeah. Yo, bro, who I got and talking to? Where you from? I'm like, shut up. I'm just like, you get me? Clues yeah. this thing. Like, what are you doing around there, bro? Oh, he's come to see this girl, isn't it? Oh. So is it a pen thing? I said, yeah, she's living it. I'm gas together. I'm like, yeah, bro. Mm. Like, what phone you got? I'm like, Whoopman. They're like, ooh, Whoopman. I'm like, Sony, yeah, the bad boy. I'm like, yeah, man, the cold thing. But like, let me see that. I don't know. One of them's in front of me, one of them's next to me. That man got beards like me, you know. These times I'm yeah. a bro. 
One's on the right, one's behind me. Do you get me on that? These times now. Nah. Like, bro, let me see that, isn't it? I'm saying you don't need to see my phone, fam. Uh, I know what's coming though, isn't it? Like I just feel it, innit? So they're like, bro, let me see your fucking phone. I'm like, what, you man jacking me, innit? I asked her, I said to her, I said, yeah, bro, we're taking your phone, innit? I said, you man are big boys, bro, yeah. You wanna jack me, a little kid like me? That's what you man are on. Is that he's fucking brave, bro? You wanna get shanked up by saying, bro? Are you dumb? Just give me the. You see when I heard the shanking thing, uh, my dad used to say to me, "Don't get stabbed for this thing." This is when things like happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't get stabbed for your phone and let's give it away. So what happened is, I said, "All right, cool." When I heard that, I said, "Oh shit!" I gave him the phone, yeah. And honest to God, yeah, because and I didn't touch on this before, but someone when I was twelve on my twelfth birthday, R.I.P. Charlotte Fowler, she was very close to me. And she died, didn't it? On my tour first day, that's a girl got stabbed, murdered, didn't it? So I was very like triggered on this knife thing until I started rolling with it to try and feel brave and that. Do you get me? So anyway, they've took the phone. What did I do then? I've left. I phoned, I'd used the girl's phone to phone my uncle and that. I said, um, listen, my uncle's girlfriend from him. I said, just phone Sadie's, like, tell him to block my phone. I've been robbed. But they, uh, but they gave me my SIM card back. I remember they asked me, I don't know, but I just said, anyway. They gave me the SIM card back. They said, you want the uh, SIM card? I was like, yeah, fuck it. At least I'll come back in South <laughs> So I took the SIM card. Listen to this now. I've got on a bus, yeah? I just see a boy with a Walkman, bruv. I swear to God, bruv. I was going down, and I remember there was a road. I'm not going to say, bro, I just grabbed the Walkman. I said, give me that, man. I took the Walkman out right off. As I'm going back to my yard, I'm thinking, hold on a minute now. This is too suspect. I just said I got robbed, and now I've come back with the new phone, yeah? Mm. They're going to think, oh, I've done a swap, or I've done all, like, I've ro like they're going to clock what I've done, isn't it? Yeah. Well, what I've done, I don't know how well, I can't remember what I've done, but I shot at the phone. Yeah. These times now, i got bread. Mm. And this bread, these times you could get divers. Oh, weed. You get Mexico 250 with my boy, 250, 250. And when I get two fat zoots, bro, you can get a Benner's. Oh, that's laughing right now. It's like a free five. So, mm. bro, I just started getting, yeah, I was on that, bro. I was on that, I was on that, I was on that. So I just had to get that story out there because that's what showed me. And then I was known for that. And certain people, like schools, and they wouldn't come to a certain area in Stratford because I was known. These times, I'm not bullying little kids, you know. I'm bullying kids my age. I don't go to school in year 11. So my goal is to just every day. And I started getting addicted to this, bro. Yakking, man. Yes, rubbing, everything. rubbing phones. Everything, anything. Not just started like that, but everything. Anything you got, bro. Everything. Mm. That, if I saw it and I wanted that, I liked it. I'm yeah, and I'm gone. Mm. So, looking back now, then years have passed by. You're you're 27 and, years old. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Can I just say one more thing though? Go on. You see anyone that I've done that to, yeah? Can you see that? Obviously, that was my trauma. So that them not jacking me and all that. That, I wouldn't. Have, I don't know if I would have done that before. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So then that drove me to that. But anyone that I have done that, anything like that too, yeah, we're gonna put my um in the YouTube. We're gonna put my email if that's alright with you in the bio thing. Yeah? yeah. I want anyone that I've done that they allegedly think that I've done that to. I want them to um contact me if they if they don't mind, yeah. And I want to like compensate them somehow. But they send me their bank details. Anyone, bruv, and I'm telling you, bruv. It might take a long time for me to send over all these little... I'm not going to send... It don't matter what... You might get, how many robbies did you actually do then? You might get a thousand people in your listen, email. Listen, listen, like, I'm not saying no. These are all allegedly, yeah? Because I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good man. I've never been convicted. But, that, but, that, but, but listen, that, but listen, one person, sec. Yeah, it could be a thousand, but one sec. I'm not going to give... Say, for example, I took 10 bags off you. I'm not going to give you 10 bags. It could be a 20-pound voucher to everyone, but just to show that <laughs> I'm sorry, innit? I'm sorry because I didn't mean that like, it wasn't intentional. This person now could have maybe not want to go out for 10 months because I was on some angry shit trying to jack... Because... And all for what? Because I wanted to smoke weed and get high and drink drink alcohol. Bro, well, listen, you're better off just saying I'm sorry and that's that. That's just an open up a can of worms that don't need to open up. Go a certain man. Okay, go, nah, I'm trying to done show this. my sorryness in it. I was just trying to show my how, yeah, how sorry yeah, I am. Let them know you're sorry. My no one, no I had somebody me. message me. Listen to this on New Street Blogs. You love. So I had someone message me, and I, you know that thing when you run off on the plug. So basically, the this guy was. I got love for him. I got so much love for him, innit? Yeah, but I mm. can't. Like, I have to be real to myself, innit? So anyway, he's my cousin's people, innit? And then when now, remember, I'm still back. I've gone back to East, yeah, but I'm just in a different part. I'm with my cousin. That like, these men are rolling yeah. as well. These men get money. You get me? 
But when I've gone over there and I've just seen how they're acting towards each other, like I'm chilling with one and he's telling me about this man, that man, and all these. And when I tell me things about my cousin, very little things anyway, so cool. Man, there was a one guy and he's stunts, and man, he's got the nice car. He's proper cool though, isn't it? But he's stunts, isn't it, bro? Like, and you send man Snapchats of bare dough. And these times, man's hungry, bro. Like, man work, and then man's leaving job. Man's doing, yeah, but you've not got that. Like, I'm saying racks on racks, big chains cut. Sometimes they're yeah. sending me these things, man. Anyway, like, they're so... Acting like they want to put me on in that, this guy. He's acting like he wants to put me on. But at the same time, come on, bro. I've been around so many olders. You're not even that uh, older to me like that. To me, I used yeah. to people... I used to put people, people my younger. I swear to God, people that know me know the truth. That was older than me. Everyone that was my age, in a certain set of my thing, I used to call them my youngest, bro. Like, I was always, like, you get what I'm saying to you? I thought I was, like, 21 when I was 16, bro. Do you get what I'm saying to you? So, anyway, bro, he's messaged me, like, I, at one time, I just ran off on him, innit, from basically, he, he, he wanted to basically give me some grub that wasn't even good from some expensive price. And you wanted to give me some silly drink. Like, after all this love you've been telling me, the stories you've been telling me, so I ran off in a minute. So anyway, the other day, after all these things opening, that like you're saying about opening kind of worms, he was man enough to say, that he messaged me and said, he forgive me. Don't care. I don't know, it could be ulterior motive. I don't know, but uh. he said he forgives me. And he tried to come with that one, like, I didn't know, like, things were so bad for you to do that. That's our character for you. That like, You wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have swept that. And I was hungry them days as well, innit? I'm not going to lie to you, but bro, like, these things, you have to live it forever, innit? And shall I tell you one thing about karma, yeah? One time, bro, yeah? The second time I ever got robbed, yeah? One boy that I knew from school, and I looked up to this guy. This guy was that like, I to told you, but this guy was a... Like, I'm not gonna lie, this guy was serious, innit? Like, everyone yeah. from moving forward, he was a serious guy. He pulled up one time in the end, just driving past us, yeah? Man didn't even... So, you know when you've seen someone for ages, but he must have thought, in his head, food, victim, you know what I'm saying But it might end up thinking like, bro, you know what I'm saying to Mm. Story short, he's lining me up but you see leading up to this thing yeah i've got food off one of my boys now but my boy ain't really like that in it and we've gone with someone else the whole story i would not get into but i basically looked like and the way it happened i tried to be the big man like, now give me the bag i ended up yeah. getting the bag snatched off me it could all look like a setup all these things i know you see after that me and my boy never looked eye to eye yeah and you know that's another thing that's something like break my heart because this guy was the person you see when i didn't have nothing when i was a kid yeah he would give me a zoo he'd give me a drink like he was a proper good guy bro you yeah. what I'm doing and that. so you see the karma of things and that bro like a relationship deterred because he probably to this day don't know did he line me up or not because i was just such a scumbag do you get what i'm saying to you? anyone could get it must take mm. it to everyone bro to the so, fact that's, where, that's the thing once you're that's the thing sometimes robbers don't understand when you start having bad credit on the road no one wants to fuck with you no more no, no one no one trusts you no more you're done my, listen one of my my cousin's brother so i called him my cousin my, like basically most of my life all the time i known him his cousin i done like we i ran up on him and that bro i didn't even know it was his cousin though mm. till later later but imagine this bro i got nicked for the thing bust it and that cool Man, I didn't even take nothing from this licking. Like, you get me, bro? And nothing really major even got taken, bro. I had some, like, uh, bro, the mad problems that I went through for that one thing showed me, bro. And then to turn out to be my cousin's cousin, bro. Like, do you get what I'm saying, too? Like, if someone would have died from that thing, each one person, that guy would have been at each person's funeral. Do you get what I'm saying? He's something so mm -hmm. stupid. And thankfully, I saw the boy who the incident happened to him. And he just forgave me, thankfully. And it's not because I say, I don't say these things because I'm fair, because I, I cannot fear anyone no more, bro. Like, when I've been through so much, my dad was the one person who I was scared of my whole life, innit? Yeah. When I've stuck it on my dad now, and I've made my dad crumble, I've stuck up for my dad in a, in a pub in Manor Park when some big Asian guy's sticking it on him and that. And I've seen my dad crumble, this guy's supposed to be a bad man his whole life. And I've done the mads, done put, tried to put work in. Do you get what I'm saying, too? That's uh. things that made me realise. I could never swear on him in my life, bro. But at the yeah, same yeah. time, yeah, bro, I just want to, like, do the best I can, innit? I want to, like, just show that not everyone has to be this guy coming here, yeah, protect their image, protect... I don't care what image, bro. I'm a football coach, bro. I do, yeah, I don't care about the streets, bro. Like, I'm just saying, some people, the streets is all they know, innit? I'm just saying, bro, you fuck the 
fuck the road thing, innit? Like, fuck the banging thing, the killing thing is nonsense. Go get your money if that's the case if you're on the roads, innit? Otherwise, like, what you're on the roads for, the real, real people thought that was on the roads was to make money, bro. The real Gs, if you want to deep why the road life is even like this, the street life, the real gangsters was making money, fam. That's the main reason they done it, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? So just mm. make please, that's my message, innit? That I don't promote no road thing. Try to find your path, bro. Whatever it is, I worked, bro, in a retail. I worked in retail was shit. Then I got in the next one. And the environment was so good, fam. The things I experienced, the amount of people I met, fam. I used to go work happy until I burnt bridges and that. Do you know what I'm saying to you? What would you say, what would you say is your biggest regret from this whole my situation? Regret. My biggest regret. I don't have no regrets in the situation. Because it's my life, isn't it, bro? My biggest, like, regret is nothing down to me but losing my friends, bro. Like, losing yeah. Liam and Sam, that's my biggest regret of life, bro. Like, and obviously, yeah, that's it, bro. That's it. That's my biggest regret. So, Music, uh, what, 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 regret, bro. Yeah. Like, at times, people was reaching out to me, and I just didn't care about music. I didn't know what to do. And it's not just now because they've blown, but it's because I'm fans of them things. So, JK, one time, he messaged me. Birmingham, bro. Shout out to JK, yeah? Cold, like we should do some work, and I was just like, Yeah, bro, we'll do it. I didn't get back to him, bro. You get, oh, I didn't, we just didn't do nothing. Still, Bangles, the coldest producer in the UK, stopped me one day on Woodgrange Road, like, You're tiny, and you see, them days, you see, tiny could mean anything. People don't understand, only I understood, and everyone even around me didn't understand. When I had, you see, tiny, you're tiny, you see, when you're beefing and robbing people, and that from different areas, people don't know, and that, and then you're an MC, so you got fans. And you got ops, bro. Do you know how mad that is, fam? You don't know who's coming at you. You don't do nothing. You're walking everywhere. Yo, Tiny could mean, yo, I want to kill you, pussy. Yo, Tiny could mean, yeah, can I buy your album? When's it coming out? Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm. Like, you don't know what that is. So still bangles anyway, pulled me up one day. He said, bro, you're cold, man. We should work. He was cold them days. I heard his name, but like, he weren't popping like he was now, bro. Now look where he is, bro, isn't it? So, yeah, man, I always said I'll never do music ever again, but one song I'd love to do, yeah? would be a Still Bangles beat with JK. With Getz on it as well, because Getz, basically, I ended up not liking Getz because for so many different reasons. Uh, I, I used to just think he was the baddest guy on the planet, yeah. I was his fan, you get me? And he used to just took that crowd, in it? And then obviously, like, like it's an entertainment. So when you're young and that, you don't realise it, and he's an entertainer, bro, isn't it? That, and he might have done badness that I haven't seen, it? so who am I to judge anyone, you get me? But we was always supposed to do music, and we never done nothing, innit? Like, but I, I was like, I hated him for that, because he'd always be like, Tiny, you're cold, when he's around, man, yeah, we should do something. My phone in the studio would never come, like. So I was like, but him, I would love to, so it would have to be a Still Bangles beat, JK gets, and Sneak Bowl, and I'll tell you why Sneak Bowl, yeah? I messaged him one time, and at these times, I was popping before Sneak Bowl, you know? And the Sneak Bowl went, we was popping. Everyone in my end was playing him, and I was like, "Rob, this guy's quite cold, isn't it?" Like, so I messaged him one time that like, we should do a tune. Like, you see me, I'm like, I was. I've always showed people love before I even blew. I I used to ask everyone to do a tune, but you get me. But so I was popping, I was popping. I messaged me, bro. I don't forget. I said we should do a tune. He messaged me, like, "Yeah, cool, bro. Remember? Yeah, we'll do it." About six, five years later, one of my exes did that. We split up at the time with that, whatever. But she told me and that, or oh, we're laughing. And she's like, "Oh." Sneakball, when oh you asked mess you messaged Sneakball to do a tune one time and that I was like, huh? What did she like? Yeah, yo, know, she he told all these things and that. So he went to the girl and said these things and that, yeah. And like, oh, he's a fan, basically. That's what it was thing. Like, that's what it was perceived as. He was a fan, but I'm a fan of Sneakball, and I'm still a fan to this day of Sneakball, bro. So like, who, 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 who in the industry would you say you're a fan of right now? Right now, it is East. He's mm. cold. Like, I like him from Newham. There's another boy, Dylan Beds, the new boy. These are only new one songs that I've just even come across, like a couple songs that I haven't heard the whole thing, innit? They're the people I like. And Tiz East is also managed by one of my people's people, innit? And these are good people, you get me? Um, Tiz East, that Dylan Beds, you. I want young people. Them triplets, guys, that one that they done, that song of you. I saw mm. that only because of you. I like that. I want that. I'm on, I like that kind of thing. I don't really want to promote people that do that. Yeah. This other nonsense, but Killy Six Summers. Even though I even spoke to him about it, and I don't, I don't, I don't know some things. I just think we're old for, but I think he's cold, man. Killy Six Summers, go check him out. He's got a new tune out. Yeah, mm, questions. Everyone's asking questions. Like what they do in the fucking comments and all that here now. Mm -hmm. 
Um, cold, cold. But yeah, I just hope man can the vision I had younger because when I was young, people grew out of it and people seen in it and. People was changing their own. When I was ready to change, people weren't ready to change, but that's fine, isn't it? Because everyone has their own change of growth, isn't it? But after a while, you see yeah. people change, isn't it? You so what, 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 so what, what message... What message... Because I'm going to say, obviously, New York Street Blog is over here. He's, he's watching, so a lot of people come over from there. Mm -hmm. A lot of young youths watch his page, and they're probably watching right now. Mm-hmm. What message do you have right now? Like, what's the key message that you're going to have for the young youth to go away with today? I'll just say, there's some people out there, bare man, yeah? For example, like, they, oh, bro, I don't want to put my own bus, but there's bare people, yeah, out here that live a pretense life, innit? Like, and just just be you, and that's all I can say. Go, if you, if you don't feel comfortable being you, go talk to someone who you think you can. There's people out there, but even if you don't have no one, like, there's charities out there. Swear to God, it might sound dumb and that, but there's things, or there's people, there's doctors. Like, do you get what I'm saying to you, bro? Just try to mm. self-love. Like, we are our own worst enemies, bro, isn't it? Like, self-hate, like, is what we have. We don't have self-love. Everyone, we always want to be better than this person. We always want to be, you get what I'm saying to you, bro? When I was, when yeah. I was popping, bro, and had the sexiest model things from on the MySpace, on the, these kind of mad things, bro, yeah, on the Insta, when Insta came and that Bebo, all these kind of things. When I had all these and I'm popping, bro, and they're coming over, do you think I had mad drip in that? I had a, maybe a nice trim. And if I had drip, I didn't have no drip. It don't matter, bro. When you're popping, when you're you and you, yeah, people feel you for being you. The people who need to feel you, bro, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? You don't need to just follow and, oh, I want to be this guy, I want to be that guy. And another thing, all these, like, not everything's about looks. Everyone judges and that on the outside and that, bro. The most beautiful people in life I've met ain't the best people to look at, you know. These women, you get what I'm saying to you and that? They're not the most, these beautiful women and that, yo, some of them now in this day and age, they're very, very, very bad for you, bro. And bare people get into dramas <laughs> and that all the girls and all that. Stay away, bro. <laughs> I, 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 I personally think a lot of dramas, I personally think a lot of dramas that people have starts off with women and stuff like that as well, to be fair. But that's for another day, I guess. That's for another but day. Listen, man, yeah, man, we've got to wrap up. But I also want to appreciate you, bro, that this was very authentic, bro. I don't give a shit what anyone says to me. In 24 hours, I'll be off the social. This corona thing, this actually helped me. This has been, like, my therapy. People have always said, read, like, talk, you have to talk to someone talk to you know what i'm saying to i finally done it openly i could said some things there's some things i wanted to say something i didn't want to say you know what i'm saying to but it was organic so thank you but we're gonna uh, uh, i, I up appreciate but can we just words, and i want Medi to do that thing in it because i've got bare bangers from stratford and plaster and forest gate yeah from old school not even these new guys who never beef no one you get me old school real driller you know what i'm saying to i've got bangers so uh, i'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna call Medi after this as well in in north in south side they got bangers old school Don E, e Kojo, all them man they got bangers so Don E, except the challenge. I'm gonna call Medi. I'm gonna call Medi and see and see what he says. Understanding Briggs, he's my cousin, isn't it? So, all it is is let's go, champ, isn't it? Like he is the guy, mm -hmm. isn't it? He's the he's the he's the the Mac Tyson, bro. He's Mac Tyson. I'm mm -hmm. Shannon Briggs. That's it, bro. Like let's go for one thing, one versus for the culture and let me just sign off social forever and knew I'm on a good note to show that we can do it for the culture. Do you get what I'm saying to you? To show but you say, saying, but I want to ask, it. why do you want to sign off? If you've got a voice, why don't you because amplify I, that voice? Fuck that, man, because I want to just live my life and be in peace. I don't want to come back to all this fucking paranoia and, oh, Tanya, you just, oh, you're the guy that wasn't, bro, this is bad enough. This is great. Mm. I don't want to do this, but I have to because my heart was telling me I watched this guy I watch also for the culture, Chucky and that. You got to say Chucky and that, real people, you get me? Young Spray, mm. he's from Dominica, bruv. That's my, my home, my country, bruv. My, my granddad got a house up there, bruv. I was there a couple of years ago. You get what I'm saying to you, bruv? Yeah. My, my granddad, you get me? Come on, bro. Like, all these people are real people and they've all got that like, their things. I watch it all and I just thought, you know what? I just saw your things all the time. I thought, let me just follow you. But I deleted the messages. You saw, I, I deleted my thing. I changed it. I thought, fuck it, can I get I, 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 I don't want to do it, but I thought, you know what? I have to yeah. do it. This is my calling. Get me. This is what it's for, bro. So I gave you the gems. You get what I'm saying? Uh, let's you? end it on what's next. If you just let us know what's next for you. What's next for you? What's Tiny doing in the next five, ten years? To be happy, make money, live life. I want to open up a studio. I want to be a music mentor. So anyone, put my email. We can put our email then for people who, any kids that want any mentoring or 
at any stage of their career, music, they might be shit, they might be good, anything, do you get me? Because not everyone was good at the beginning, bruv. Do you get what I'm saying to you, bruv? It's all about... So any... I want to just mentor and help people as much as I can, innit? So I want to hopefully have a studio where it's affordable for young kids so they don't have to go and do madness to get this studio money. You get what I'm saying, too? They can just come to this studio mm. and the football team, that's it, really, bro. That I'm trying to get a football team and the music and the music that I'm set up. That's what... But obviously, like... I'm good in it. I don't need to chase anything. I'm, I have bad days. I have really bad days, but I'm happy with who I am and that at the moment. This lockdown thing is to hurry up and end so I can get back to normal life, get back to coaching kids, because that's all that makes me happy right now in life, I'll be honest with you. So don't think this is all easy. I'm here. I've been in all these lovely mm. countries on holiday. Uh, bro, I've I appreciate you. Places. Thank you for coming down. Cut me off three. You too, bro, man. Love, bro. Peace, man. Seriously, love the four hour request. All right, say no more, bro. Say yeah, no more. Love you, man. Yeah, bless up. All right, cool, bro. All right, that's going to be on uh, YouTube later on. Make sure you, you go and watch. Peace.